Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the VirtualBox Guest Editions. So, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I've already got a virtual machine running, and it is Ubuntu. And I'm just going to talk a bit about the Guest Editions and why you would want to install them. So, what the Guest Editions offer are the ability to share directories between your host machine and your virtual machine and also share your clipboard between the host machine and virtual machines that you're running and it allows you to basically make use of hardware acceleration as well for your graphics so there's one other thing that it will actually fix and that is if you just go over to displays here you'll see that I only have these two options for resolution so once we actually install the guest editions I'll have more options so I will actually be able to maximize this and my virtual machine will fill the screen. So there's one prerequisite that we need before we actually install the guest editions. So if I just open up a terminal I'll show you what that is and it is a package called DKMS which stands for Dynamic Kernel Module Support. Now Ubuntu and Mint generally come with this pre-installed so there's no need for me to install it now. Other distributions you may actually have to install it but you do need that before you actually start to install your guest editions. So the first way that we can actually install the guest editions are to go up to devices and then just click on install guest editions and what will happen is an image or an ISO, well, an ISO image will be loaded into your virtual machine and if we just click OK to this all we would have to do is click run and that would install the guest editions. Now alternatively you can actually download this guest editions ISO as a separate file from the following address so if I just open up the web browser and head on over to download dot virtualbox dot org forward slash virtualbox I can actually download the guest editions for any version of virtualbox so that's my version over there and as you can see this is the guest editions file which is an ISO file so I could download that and then I could mount it as a virtual CD-ROM so that my virtual machine can access it that way or I could simply just click devices and install guest editions. So now if I click run and just enter my admin password, so enter that now, you'll see that the VirtualBox guest editions is now installing. So we just have to wait for that to finish. And I will come back when that's done. Okay, so as you can see, everything has actually been installed and all we have to do is press return to close this window so I'm gonna do that now and that's basically it the guest editions are now installed okay so just a quick note before I restart this virtual machine if you haven't already done so I would recommend that you install the VirtualBox extension pack as this also offers more functionality for your virtual machines but what I'm gonna do right now because I've already got that installed I'm just going to restart my virtual machine, so I'm just going to shut it down and come back when that's finished. Okay, so as you can see, my virtual machine has restarted and the VirtualBox Guest Editions ISO is still mounted, so if we just right click on that and click Eject, because we don't need that anymore now. Let's go ahead and test some of the new features that we have. So if I just go ahead and click Maximize now, you can see that the virtual machine now fills the screen so that's working now and if I just open up this previous web page that we were on and just copy this URL here just to test out that the clipboard works I'm just going to open up a terminal and paste that in there there we go the shared clipboard is now working okay so there are a couple of ways that you can access directories or folders on your host machine from within your virtual machine but today I'm just going to show you one and that is how to manually mount directories 
from your host machine within your virtual machine. So the first step you need to take is you need to right click on this folder icon down here and then click shared folders and we need to click add new shared folder here so just click on that and now we need to select the path to the folder that we wish to access so we just click other here and I'm going to share this directory on my desktop here called Java so I'm just going to click on desktop and then Java and click open now at this point what you need to remember is this folder name here so for me it's Java with a capital J so once you've done that just click OK and then OK this as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm just going to CD over to my desktop and I'm going to make a new directory and call it Java and now I'm going to mount this directory within this Java directory here so to do that I'm just going to type in su2 because you need to have root privileges to actually mount any device and then mount dash t for type and the type is vbox sf so vbox shared folder and then we need the name of the folder which we remembered from before so for me that's java with a capital j and now what we need to do is we need to tell mount where the location of the directory is that we want to actually view the mounted files in so for me it's just java because I'm already on my desktop so it's this directory here and now all we need to do is hit enter and then enter the password and there we go you can now see that this directory has been populated with the directories that are within this Java directory here and to unmount our directory all we have to do is type su2 umount and then the name of the directory so that's java with a lowercase j so we're going to unmount this and hit enter and if we open up this directory now you'll see that it's empty and that has actually brought us to the end of this tutorial so i hope you found it useful if you did please don't forget to subscribe you can also follow linux leech over at facebook.com forward slash linux leech and on Twitter at Linux Leech. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.